There seems to be a major division within the Congress over the appointment of the Army Chief. A day after Manish Tiwari slammed the appointment of Lieutenant General Bipin Rawat, saying it was out of turn, claiming it would demoralize Army ranks. Another official spokesperson, Satyavrat Chaturvedi, has criticized politics over the entire matter. In fact, he today said that the promotions were not only based on seniority but other factors as well. And now, an embarrassed Congress has issued yet another clarification saying that Manish Tiwari's statement is the official one and that all others are personal views or opinions of other party leaders. Look, Sena Pramukhi Niyukti ke maamle mein vivaad ka swagat nahi kiya ja sakta. ये स्थापित परंपरा रही है कि चाहे वो सेना के प्रमुखों की नियुक्ति का मामला हो या सुप्रीम कोर्ट के चीफ जस्टिस की नियुक्ति का मामला हो ऐसे मामलों में केवल वरिष्ठता नहीं वरिष्ठता के अलावा अन्य बहुत सारी चीजों को भी ध्यान में रखा जाता है it is the responsibility of the government that it must tell the country as to what are the circumstances which led to the supersession. These are public appointments. The chief of the Indian army leads a million strong army. And therefore, it is legitimate to ask questions when such an unprecedented action takes place. Actually, there is no controversy. I think. I think the Congress and the CPI and the other opposition leaders, whoever is making this kind of a statement and creating controversy, must know what is RQ, the process of selection of uh, an army chief. This controversy is being purposely created by the opposition, particularly uh, Congress and CPI, purely because they have absolutely no other issues to raise. There is a complete bankruptcy in Congress of issues, and that's why they are raising issues, making issues which is not an issue. In fact, facing attack from the opposition parties, the government has already defended uh, its stand justifying that the appointment of Lieutenant General Bipin Rawat as the next army chief, superseding two commanders, uh, is uh, something that they had kept in mind with regards to his operational experience and the kind of, uh, you know, uh, work that he has done. In fact, they have said that they found him best suited to deal with the emerging challenges. But the news is the conflicting statements coming in from the Congress with Manish Tiwari slamming the government uh, for this appointment. And now we have with us uh, the BGP spokesperson, Sambit Patra. Sambit, thanks so much for speaking to us. So, Satyabha Ch Chaturvedi is saying something completely different to what Manish Tiwari has to say. So, very different conflicting views coming in from one party. So, definitely, we always maintain issues so serious as these which are pertaining to the national security, mm. they should not have such kind of tug of war. They should not be dragged into the political arena. But the irony is, all the dirty linens are being washed by the Congress spokespersons in the public. Well, they had differing views. They should have met down within the party forum and they should have discussed. But the kind of political tug of war that we are seeing is not behoving. Without going into any details, I would say that spokespersons of political parties should refrain from making comments on important issues as the army and the selection of the army. Absolutely, sir. You were just mentioning uh, about the political slugfest that has taken place. Uh, but now what we are getting to hear is that the Congress has come out and they've said that the version of Manish Tiwari's, the statement that he had met, uh, made uh, criticizing the move, is the official one. And the statement made by Satyavat Chaturvedi is his own personal views. No, well, this is all nothing but, uh, in fact, a tug of war. And this is what I say is dragging interest, issues of polit uh, national interest into the political arena. The Congress party has had a habit of doing this. It should refrain from doing such kind of politicking on army at least. Mm. But sir, there has been, uh, you know, a question that has been asked of the government, the manner in which uh, they have uh, taken the decision that uh, perhaps this could have been done in a better way. Perhaps there would have been a lot more homework and uh, better information and not in such a hasty way. Now, do you think a decision as important as this 
would have gone down the line without the much needed homework that the congress is talking about and secondly their precedences to all these hmm. thirdly and very importantly we are spokespersons of political party i dare not even take the name of the army chief and the yes. others in the line because i believe that we are not even entitled not even uh, mark my words in capital letters i say spokespersons of political party are not entitled to even take the name of the lieutenant generals of army so i would refrain from trespassing into the zone that is not mine all i would humbly submit is these are issues of paramount importance political parties should think over before this speak but there has been a charge by the congress of your government and i'm using the word playing with institutions not at all i use the word precedence very carefully and the government has already come up with the stand so i believe no politicking please on such important issues we should refrain from making any comments on this whatever is being done is done for the better of this country right. and we should all stand together on this right sir thank you so much for speaking